So I have decided to do something that I know a few people have done in the past. Actually, quite a few people have done. I have decided to go sober. And this is not because I drink too much. This is purely, there's actually two reasons, two specific reasons why. Number one, I am working on trying to lower my triglycerides and drinking is one of those things that can help really impact that. I don't need, I didn't drink very often. I drink every Saturday uh, when I went out with my buddy and that was pretty much it. Maybe a whiskey here and there. I was a pretty avid whiskey drinker, mostly for trying new things and more of the higher end stuff. So I didn't drink a lot. It was just sipping on an ounce of whiskey at night if I did have anything. But it was definitely something that I would reach for at the end of the day if it had been a stressful day. So that on top of one other big, big, big reason, which is the day that I just quit and I just did not want to drink anymore. And it had nothing to do with me, actually. It had nothing to do with me drinking too much or anything like that. I was at a uh, establishment <clears throat> that I went, that I go to every Saturday and there was a regular there. And both my friend and I are regulars at this place. We go every Saturday. I know all the people that work Saturday. I walk in, it's like cheers. They know who I am. They know what I drink. They would just put it down in front of me. And there was a regular that was there that showed up and he was already a little bit gone. And proceeded to drink more with him and his wife and it got to the point where at the end of the night, we always stay there until close. It was one o'clock closing time and they gave him his tab. And this is when I started noticing it. I, I wasn't really noticing it too much just because it, they act the same way they always act, those two. Uh, however, this time when the guy was trying to do his tab, it was literally this. He was, he was with the receipt and he's like, And he couldn't write to the point where the bartender didn't even count the tip that was on there because she couldn't read it. And just to preface this, somebody did call the police just to preface this situation. The guy proceeded to try and go to the bathroom. He barely made it to the bathroom. Stumbled back, sat down, was trying to do the receipt and was swaying on his stool and he barely barely stayed on that stool he got off the stool tried to put his coat on took him maybe two minutes to put his coat on and when he started walking towards his wife he was very very slow his wife was berating him just yelling at him let's go stop let's go you're embarrassing me let's go you idiot you're an idiot all these curse words and screaming at him clearly in a better mindset and less drunk than he was got up to the vestibule this was maybe 20 feet walk 10 maybe 10 15 feet and just was walking and fell right down on the side just 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 doo -doo -doo, boom <clears throat> super wasted just super wasted uh one of the one of the, not the bartenders, it was one of the other patrons helped him up and they literally just got him out the door. They just got him off the property and I think the police were on their way at this point and they didn't, they didn't get there in time for them but the guy proceeded to get in the car in the driver's seat and start the car and they sat there for maybe another two minutes and they pulled out, and I think that they got them a little further down the road. We didn't get to see that, but my friend and I, just in case the cops didn't get there in time, him and I did not leave. They allowed us to stay in the establishment until 1.30 because they left at about 1.05, 1-something. And they let us stay until 1.30 so we weren't on the road when they were on the road. But 
but it just shows you how stupid people are and how stupid people can be and it makes me worried for all the people that are on the roads at those times and that was the tipping point for me i was i it was such an experience to watch that and be reminded how terrible alcohol is not only for your body but for your mind and for your clarity and I decided to go sober and so it has now been six weeks that I've been sober this is the longest I have ever gone without alcohol completely without alcohol I do have non-alcoholic beer that I drink but outside of that I don't consume regular alcohol and I don't consider non-alcoholic beers to be a problem because it's, for me it's not a problem of drinking alcohol it's it's a health decision so these beers i drink are from athletic brewing if you have ever heard of them they, it is an excellent substitute for alcohol excellent substitute it tastes like ipas it they they have one that tastes like a it's a cerveza it's a cerveza but i think it tastes more like a brown ale or a um irish red some kind of that area Anyways, outside of that, I have not consumed any alcohol for six weeks. And the mental clarity that I have had since that experience and since I have quit is astronomical. I, I think everything is a little brighter. Everything is way clearer. I'm not, I don't have a foggy mind. I'm not having hangovers. I'm not anything like that. And I would get a hangover for drinking two beers because my body just is older and it, it can't digest things as well. So I just wanted to talk to you guys shortly about that. There's going to be more on this journey that I'm going on. Uh, I'm going to do some I'll do some reviews on the Athletic Brewing. It's out there and a lot of people already know about it, but it's still a brand new brand. I think it started in 2017. Um, and I've, I haven't i have lost any extra weight. I've been doing Noom as you saw from my short and I haven't been doing Noom over the past couple of weeks because I feel like I don't need to focus on, I, I'm focusing on food already. I'm still focusing on food, but I don't feel like it has been such an, that quitting drinking has been more of an impact than I thought it would be because I did balloon up for a little bit because I was substituting that beer and I was drinking it almost every day just because it tasted good but I was drinking it every day and it does have high carbs and so I stopped doing that and I, I slowed down on that because I, I got used to not drinking not having anything in my hand and I switched to water mainly but it's, it's been a journey, and I'm going to continue updating you guys. I'm going to continue saying, showing what it's like to be sober. It's, it's weird because you have to alter your, your social life a little bit because my friend and I would go drinking every weekend, and now we go to the same place every weekend, and, have, as long, and he doesn't drink anymore, too. He's done. He he has quit alongside me so we've decided that we're not going to drink anymore we're done with it and i will take you along my journey with my new decisions that i get to make on it on a daily and weekly basis so i hope a little bit of this impacts somebody uh just the dangers that people can put themselves and others in when they drink scares me and that's just me and my rambling and my little story. So hope you guys have a great day. Until next time, guys, have a happy day.